Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our fifth video in Python Flask Cloud Web Application Development. Uh, in the previous video we have uh, completed our design uh, this, uh, and we have added add student data and also we have worked on our edit. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how you can connect your uh, web application to MySQL database, your Flask application to MySQL database uh, and also we will work on our add student data uh, to our database okay uh, before this uh, I have added all the source code uh, for this and the github I will add the link uh, to the video description and you can download the source code of uh, this crowd simple crowd web application okay uh, before this that I start coding uh, I'm going to open my WAMP server and I need to create a new database. Uh, I call the database to uh, CRUD application. Okay, now I'm going to create table of students. Okay. Uh, the first one I need ID, I need a name, and also I need email and phone. Email and phone. Okay, ID is the type is integer and we make it auto increment. The name is Varker, email is Varker. And phone is worker. Two fifty five, two fifty five, and also two fifty five. Okay. Now let me create this. Save. Yeah. Now I have uh, my table and my database. If I browse this, there is no data in my students table. Okay. Now open your Flask application, and at the top. Uh, you need some imports. Uh, we need a request, we need a redirect, also we okay, and also we need from Flask MySQL DB import MySQL DB, MySQL. <coughs> and in here, uh, I'm going to uh, make app.config. The first one is MySQL underscore host. This is local host. Local host. Let me just copy my database uh, name in here and my okay. The user is. root and the password is I don't have any password to this and the database name is DB is crowd application Okay, now at the end you can write MySQL, MySQL, and give your app. Okay, this is our database connection. And now in the index, in, in here, uh, we need another at the bottom of index, we need another uh, route at app dot route it is insert and the methods give a method is uh, post diff insert okay now we are going to f request dot method is post 
if it's post, then uh, we are going to uh, make some variables. The first one is name request dot form name. Uh, this name is uh, from my index.html. If I open this, uh, let me bring this for you in the uh, inserting, please insert data in here. Okay, you can see in here we have name, name, and for the email, we have name, email, and for the phone, we have phone. Okay, now. This is for our name. Let me copy this and paste it. This is email. And this is phone. And phone. Okay. Now, <coughs> make a cursor object in here. Cur MySQL dot connection dot cursor now we are going to execute our query execute insert into students Okay, in students, uh, we have, uh, if you check the database, we have name, email, phone. The ID is auto increment. Name, email, and phone. Okay. And for the values, I'm going to give three placeholder like this, and the data is name, email, and phone. Okay, this is our execute query, and after this, we are going to commit our connection. MySQL dot connection dot commit and after this we are going to return redirect URL for to the index. We need to import this URL for at the top URL for okay. Uh, now this is our connection and now open your index.html and find your add button let me bring this <coughs> you should find this insert data button yeah this is insert let me find this We should find the form action of insert close dead data class. Yeah, this is and in here we can write URL underscore four and write the insert method in here. Now save this and also save this. And I'm going to refresh my application. Add a student, I give it a name and an email like this and a phone number and insert data. Okay, now uh, because uh, right now we don't have any. Uh, flash messaging system in here but I will show you in another video now I'm going to check my uh, database yeah you can see now I have another uh, I have a student ID one let me add another 
john uh, john at gmail.com and I give give a random phone number and their data let me refresh my database you can see I have another data let me another one Tom tom at gmail.com and give a phone number and their data let me check my database yeah you can see I have another data added in my table uh, in the next video uh, I will show you uh, right now if we enter data uh, we don't have any thing in here but in the next video I will show you how you can uh, make flash messaging in flask uh, and we will add a nice uh, flash message in here uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel